Hello, this is a quick reminder to do the practices when you feel comfortable to do them. Be gentle with yourself. So if you are just starting the practices and you feel hesitant about using a yoni egg inside of you or touching your yoni yourself, then sit with it and decide is it something that you need to ease your way in or are you just hesitant because of society's pressure or maybe sometimes women are just being lazy, they have so many things to do that they don't want to begin. So um, sit with it, kind of meditate or meditate and then journal to decide why you're having hesitations to begin. Um, and it's totally fine to wait until you are ready. So what I'm going to do is show you a practice that you can do before you're ready to use um, a yoni egg. And you don't need anything to do it, so you can just do this yourself, lying back with no egg, or you can grab a crystal somewhere around you. Um, doesn't have to be a yoni egg. And the other thing that you can do is do the practice uh, of a warm bath without a yoni egg. So ease yourself into the practices or if you've been doing them and you feel like you don't want to be doing them right now, then take a break. We don't always have to do these practices. So over the weeks, months, and years, you know, do them um, as you feel needed. And eventually, you know, your yoni is going to be so nice and strong that you only occasionally do them, and that's different for everyone. So just remember to be gentle with yourself. These practices are for your healing and your pelvic health. It's not a competition. You won't win an award being the most self-improved person by doing these. And it's not for um, the sole pleasure of a man having our vaginas be tighter. We are doing it for ourselves. So think about it that way. Think about it as a fantastic thing for you to be doing for yourself. And if you are beginning them today, then awesome. If not, then awesome for doing these other non yoni egg practices. So here's um, a little lesson. So do this or do the warm bath lesson without a yoni egg. Thank okay, you. so what you will want to do is um, be on your bed somewhere comfortable or maybe a yoga mat and just lie back with your knees bent and your knees are pointed towards the ceiling or maybe a little bit out or in wherever is going to be the most relaxing for you and then put one hand on your lower belly, one hand on your heart and breathe there. Take several minutes preparing. So maybe about four minutes. And then if you already have your yoni egg, if you've purchased one or any kind of crystal that you have, um, then you can really use any kind of crystal that you want for this because it's not going inside. And you will hold it and put it on your lower belly. So you're feeling the energy of that and you're getting used to crystal practice. And then the next step is um, and you can do this closed or unclosed, is to move your hand down and then to hold it over your yoni with or without your egg, wherever you're comfortable, breathing there for a minute or two, and then doing it with the yoni egg once you have one of those. So you'll hold the yoni egg on the outside, your hands are holding it in place, your hand is holding it in place, the other hand is on your heart. And breathing however you feel. It's normally good to take a few breaths where you exhale out your mouth. And then try a couple inhaling through your mouth. Like a O shape with your mouth. Drawing energy up so that your lower belly feels like it inhales with fresh prana and exhale, relaxes out. 
Inhale, gently draws in fresh energy. Exhaling it out. So trying that and then breathing normal. So your hand is going to be one over heart, one over yoni for the final one. So begin and go through those. If you're comfortable going straight for holding your hand and or egg over your yoni, then go straight for that. But all of these are great exercises for root and sacral chakra and heart chakra, which helps our entire body. The most important thing to remember with these practices is to be gentle with yourself. So connect in, see how you're feeling, meditate with yourself and make sure what you're doing is right for you and see what any hesitations around the practice are. So be gentle with yourself.